Welcome to part number 18 of Need for Speed Underground 2. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're taking a bit of a detour here in terms of the career mode. Now, if we want to go full rice and get every single car to 10 stars and full maximum upgrades, we're going to have to do this current method that I'm going to be doing. So we have the world map here in the garage, and basically the world map allows us to do these races that we did over again, and races that we missed. Now there's going to be a total of 12 missing events that say not completed, as you can see by the event status, and here's the reason why. The reason why we have not completed on these races, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 8 in this case, okay. The reason why we have not completed is because these are actually sponsorship events from the other sponsors that we decided not to choose. Now, if you go into the event like this, and let's say you win the race, you don't get anything. You just make sure that you're getting towards 100%. However, there's a glitch in the game that can give you money, and this glitch only works for incomplete events. Once you complete the events, you cannot do this glitch again, and you can't just do this glitch for any of the regular events either. This is how you do this glitch. As you can see in the menu here, we have Return to World Map, which brings us back to the world map here. However, if we do this specific glitch, the game will register this race as a regular event from the from the uh, from the World Free Realm, and it will give us money. This is how you do the glitch. You pause the game, you hit restart. That's it. Normally, these incomplete events are not supposed to give you money, but I'm not doing this work, number one, for free. I'm not doing these races for free and getting no pay out of this. And number two, I'm trying to get all the cars up to 10 stars, and I'm trying to have fun with all the racing. So, it's important that we get this extra money. And the reason why I do it in stage number three instead of at stage two is number one, you can't do it while you're in stage two and number two, the thing is is that I get 1150 for every win. That's why I chose Bride, because yes, the later sponsors, sponsor number four, which I forget, I think it was like PL or something, yes, they give you more money for signing with them, but if you do this glitch, you end up getting more money later on. That's why Return to World Map doesn't exist here, you go to Return to Explore mode, and we do it all over again. Go back to the world map. As you can see, the drag race is not complete. Go to the next incomplete event. Hit restart, and now we do the event as normal. I know, it's a dumb glitch that was overlooked by EA. But really, they should just give you money for these events to begin with. I don't think it's fair to... I don't think it's fair for them to not give you money for events that you couldn't even access to begin with. Just because you didn't choose the right sponsor. Now, I could do all of these events in Stage 5. But if I do that, then that means I get just a ridiculous amount of money without... You know, without anything to spend it on, honestly. And plus, we can get a bunch of money in Stage 3, 4, 5, etc. So, I don't want to completely have a bunch of money for no reason you know what I mean that's why I'm doing it in stage three sure I'm losing two thousand dollars per race but really I don't want to break the game too much that's the thing Ooh, over revved it so here we go drag race at the airport you know, because somehow TSA allows street racers to get into the airport, into a international airport. That makes a lot of sense, right? But yeah, depending on what sponsor you have in your current stage is how much money you get from these incomplete events. So that's why I said stage five. Let's say, let's say a sponsorship race is about three thousand dollars. You get three thousand dollars for stage two wins, pretty much. 
So let's hear. Okay, so circuit race. Let's do that next. Here we go. <laughs> Slammed right into the city car. Okay. Get Rex Supra. Or that's not even a Supra. What the hell was I thinking? It's a Mustang. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Hey, what's going on, dude? Shashank, welcome to the stream. I love NFS Underground too as well. So yeah, let me remind you guys one more time. Imagine Rice is going through an international airport in real life to try to set up a race sponsored by a major tuning company. <laughs> I know, dude. Like somehow they clear through security and TSA and and all of that just to set up a street race in an actual like international air an illegal street race with a major real life manufacturer like company sponsoring the whole event. Only in the world of video games could something like this actually exist. But anyways, let me remind you guys here. Red alert. <laughs> Dude, that would be the biggest red alert. Anyways, um, let me remind you guys that if events are already complete, this glitch will not work. It only works for incomplete events. So yes, while this is technically... It is cheating, technically. And technically, this is game breaking too. It's not super game breaking. It's not like we're starting off with a million dollars or something, you know? We're just getting the extra cash so that way we can ensure that we have enough money to tune up every single car that we get. That's why I'm saving money and not buying like turbochargers for some cars that I don't really use and care about, like the Hummer. Damn, they slammed right into that delivery truck. Dude, this game has aged like wine. Like, it just, it gets better. The older it gets, the better it gets, man. But honestly, Shashank, I'll be honest with you, dude. This isn't even my favorite Need for Speed. This is probably a close second. No, I'll be on. No, no, no. I gotta come clean. It's a distant second. Most Wanted 05 is my favorite one, like, hands down. That one, I've beaten that game over 10 times, dude. This one, I've beaten it three, a uh, total of like two or three times for sure two because beat it once as a kid I don't remember if I played it again like in high school or something and I beat it I beat it only like two months ago so I don't mind going through the whole story again for the sake of the let's play yes it is legendary I'm actually doing a Need for Speed Marathon. I don't know if you're new to the channel. I'm pretty sure you are. But I'm actually doing a Need for Speed Marathon. So, Underground, Underground 2, Most Wanted, and Carbon. Back to back to back to back. Alright, let me, let me make a thumbnail for this video real quick. And let's continue the incomplete events. Oh, you said Gran Turismo is life for everyone? Unless for Forza players. <laughs> I like Forza. I don't think there's anything wrong with Forza at all. <laughs> and the car did flip hard. <laughs> but that's a little victory flip. Oh, 
Oh, it's a skyline. Well, this is not a drag race. Because if it was a drag race... Alright, well, he gave me the bump and run. Thank you for that. Anyways, if it was a drag race, we'd be murdered. But at least here we have, like, a bigger chance to fight. Oh, yeah, the Mark Webber flip at Lamar. Yeah. Also, don't forget the um, Valencia flip, too. He flipped twice. The best song is The Killing Joke. Oh, the Death and Resurrection show. That, that's a good song. Honestly, I don't know what my favorite song Oh, um, the best song is Scavenger. No, mine is uh, Mind Killer, I think that's what it's called. That's my favorite song in this game. That or In My Head by Queens of the Stone Age. Yeah, it was in Formula One, dude. It was 2010, Valencia. Mark Webber was driving for Red Bull at the time, and I think he was coming behind. He was catching up to one of the backmarker uh, Caterham cars, or Lotus F1 as it was known at the time in 010. And yeah, he hit the back of the car and he actually flipped in the air. Similar to his Le Mans crash, except the Le Mans crash was caused by, I think, the arrow on the car? Whereas this one was caused by an accident. And just like that, we win. Another victory flip? Okay, the car does a victory flip for us then. Cool. Thank you, car. Oh, they copied the Mind Killer song? Is it the same is it the same remix though? Cause in this game I think it's a remix version. Okay, so the next event is Drift. Cool. Ooh, just murdered that crowd. <laughs> Except we're not in the Mustang, so it makes no sense for us to do that. Okay, the Turbo Kit is definitely helping with the drifting here. Like, definitely because we have more acceleration, so... Yeah, able to do better drifts. Revenge of the Yellow 240. Friggin' McDonald's Yellow with ketchup flames. Insane Drift. Ah, oh, thanks. Ooh, it's just an oval. Cool. Or a rectangle. It's only a two lap race. So we can't, we have like no room for error here. In terms of error, I mean like drifting, not necessarily like spinning out or like slowing down too much. I meant like getting points. Well, that was easy. <laughs> That was a really easy race. Just racking up that cash. Oh, actually, Crashing Foreign Cars is another really good song in this game. And another drift event. Rest in peace, that girl. You'd think the Lexani rims would probably be doing more damage. Cause like, it's so heavy. They're freaking heavy ass chrome rims, but nope. They just help us with the drifting. That's all they really do. They actually supplement us. Make sure that we get all slidey. But yeah, these events have been really easy. Nope, damn it. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, accelerate, accelerate. There we go. There we go. Dude, we have a triple digit lead. 76,000 points as opposed to 25,000. We're good. We're, we're, we're good. We don't need to keep going. Yep, another huge margin of victory. And let's go check the world map out and see if we've done all the events. That's everything. Okay. So now we have 22,000 bank. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. So, next time on NFS Underground 2, I think we're going to do the sponsor events and the SUV events in one video. So stay tuned for that.